Hey everyone, this is uh, John Harmon from Mint Condition Customs and uh, today I got in my Masters of the Universe Classics Rio Blast figure in the mail and like many of you I uh, am disappointed in it because of that right there. I mean that is <laughs> that's completely unacceptable. The chest flap can't close and it's all because of that peg. So the purpose of this video is I'm going to show you how you can modify it to where the chest flap will sit perfectly inside here and close. I'm also going to show you how to modify the gun backpack so the visor actually sits low enough to be over Rio Blast size. And I'm also going to show you just a quick tip to uh, get these the uh, chaps to sit just a little bit closer on the thigh. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need an exacto knife, you're going to need a pencil, a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, some silver uh, electrical tape or duct tape, <laughs> and you're going to need a Dremel or if you don't have a Dremel something uh, really good to sand with but um, Dremel is going to be your best bet. So now we have the vest off of Rio Blast so we can get started. First thing you're going to do is you're going to see where it's closed up there. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil and you're going to kind of try to get in there and mark onto the inside here where that peg sits. It may take you a bit to where you're comfortable enough that you have um, a good uh, eye measurement on it, but you can definitely see where it sits so you can cut out a hole. So. By the way, that's what we're doing. We're cutting out a hole here. It is going to be about right here. And it doesn't have to be a perfect square. You can make it oblong so you can see like where the uh, um, circuit board, where the circuitry is. You can kind of make it work along that so it looks a little funky. It doesn't look like there's just a hole in there. It looks like it's part of the design, which is probably what I'm about to do. So next, you're gonna take your exacto knife and well basically uh get started and there we go and this is what the vest now looks like you can see there is nothing coming up I mean obviously you got the flap there but look at it from the side you can see it's sitting now flush with the rest of the vest I'd say it's pretty awesome um, except now when you open his chest there's just a uh, blue in there which is really annoying and doesn't look right which is where this comes in now there's a few different ways you can do that. If you want it, you could, uh, you could paint this part, just get some silver paint, like uh, Tester's brand, I always, always use Tester's brand paint, and that would work just fine. Uh, unfortunately, not everybody feels comfortable with painting, or they don't want to go through the trouble, uh, which is why I suggested this. It's just like some silver duct tape that's actually incredibly shiny, and uh, almost chrome-like, actually. Um, and you know you can just cut that off and put that right there which is uh, what we're gonna do and this is what it will look like once it's applied just as a, a tip you may want to like kind of start from the bottom just so you don't accidentally uh, have some overhang here you start like from the bottom and kind of just push it down you are gonna get these these wrinkles in here personally I'm okay with that because kind of the way they they look uh, it's almost like it's continuing continuing the circuitry. Now, I don't really know how well it's showing up on camera, but the um, tape is actually a lot shinier than the uh, figure right here. This is silver paint, this is like chrome. Um, if you want to actually reduce that to where it looks more like that, you can take some very, very light sandpaper. This is like 1000 grit automotive sandpaper and kind of just lightly go over here to uh, reduce the, the shininess to dull it down just a bit to make it look like that uh, which is probably what I'll do so let me put Rio Blast back together and then we will work on this 
basically the problem is that when you have the backpack on and you flip this down you can see the visor here does not line up with his eyes at all as it should like in the original figure um, what I actually did earlier was mess with it a bit and you can see right here I've taken out a little chunk of this side of this plastic and that's basically what you're gonna do to both sides what happens is when you have the when you have the guns on him these uh, parts on his shoulders um, for some reason they're there but they're up so high that they interfere with this and it keeps this raised it keeps it raised up to where this can't lower down over his eyes so when you cut out this area it clears this so it'll be able to rest on his shoulders but we're also gonna have to do something else because you can see the the pack stops right here because of this area so we're actually gonna have to cut just a tiny bit off the top here too so that way this can lower down just a little further and just to show you how you uh, figure out where to cut beforehand when you have it lowered you're gonna do the same thing with your pencil as we've been doing and kind of mark where to cut but if you don't want to do that you can also just look right here you can see where it is it starts right here at the bottom and goes about a little over halfway up and it's maybe like a third into it so let's do that to the other side and we'll continue now that I have that you're gonna take your exacto knife and you're going to cut into it again making sure that your fingers everything is completely clear You will have to use quite a bit of force to get it down in there. Now for this part, right here, across here, you can see you can't really fit the knife blade down there. You're gonna uh, run this across, effectively scoring it, scoring into the plastic. And you're gonna do that a few times until you actually feel the knife poke through. Now that we've cut into that a bit, this is where the pliers actually come in. Because you're actually going to grab this with the pliers and kind of wiggle it. See, this will test how, uh, how much you actually cut off. And if you cut enough, you'll be able to just rip it right off. You can see there's some extra plastic in there, which we'll have to cut off right now. And now, like I said, we're going to have to cut a little bit off the top here. What we're going to do, you can see, again, the little edge that's sticking out. We're going to have to cut slightly downwards to give it to make sure that it'll actually be able to go down. All right, and once you're done cutting off the little tops of this edge right here on both sides, let's see how it fits. Just put it back on there. And... Perfect. There's now enough room. Now that you've removed the plastic from here and from here, there's enough room for it to clear the shoulder bumps, whatever they're supposed to be, and sit low enough to where the visor is actually lined up with his eyes, where it looks like he's actually looking through the visor when he's firing. That's awesome. All right, second problem taken care of. Now to the quick tip about this. You can pop these off just like that, very easy. What I did was I took my Dremel, used a round bit, you definitely want like a round sanding bit, and just ground into the peg. Because the peg doesn't have to be, this is the, the full peg, it doesn't have to be that big for the guns to actually rest on there. You can see that this is definitely lower, and the gun, the gun still rests on there just fine. So, if you take the Dremel and grind into it like I'm about to do. And we'll remove all the flash that's left there. You wanna clear this up with your X-Acto knife. 
And you can see they're both sanded down now. What that allows is whenever you have this popped back on the thigh, it actually allows it to sit just a little closer. It allows the, the chaps here to sit just a little bit closer to the thigh. It, you won't be able to get it perfectly flush with the thigh because you do need some kind of a peg there to hold the guns in place. This right here isn't fully necessary. It's just a little something extra. So, have the vest fixed, the gun fixed, the legs fixed, <laughs> all the stuff that should have been done by Mattel when they were designing it. I know it's very frustrating when you buy a figure, when you spend money on anything that has flaws, and I know action figure collectors definitely feel the frustration when it comes to that. All I hope is that this video inspires at least a few of you out there to not let the frustration get to you, to not let it keep you from buying a figure that you actually want to buy, except for maybe a few little flaws. Be proactive about your action figures. Don't let it get you down. Go out there and do something about it. Me personally, I think doing just these few little things now makes this perfect. Rio Blast is my favorite Masters of the Universe character, always has been, and this figure has been my most anticipated Masters of the Universe Classics figure for years now, ever since I ever thought it could even be a possibility. And I hope that everyone out there who wants to modify their Rio Blast in the same way uh, is able to. I am John Harmon from Men Condition Customs. If you want to see uh, more tutorials like this, you can uh, click on click through to my YouTube channel. I've, I've got at least one other one there right now. I've got a bunch of tutorials on my website www.mintconditioncustom.com that you can actually read through and see pictures. And if you want to see my full custom gallery, I am a professional action figure customizer. You can see every single custom I've ever made up to this point on my website and uh, even a few videos here on YouTube. So thanks for watching and remember Mint Condition Customs is where we take toys and turn them into interactive art.